Don't just run online for a better world. Love your family. Be a good neighbor. Practice kindness. Build bridges. Embody what you preach, today and always. We live in a me culture where everyone is obsessed with their own self-needs. A culture of selfies and personalities that are famous, but for no good reason. This is a time for all this to change. It's a time to start focusing on others rather than self. This comes at a cost. Sometimes you have to go the extra mile or face your biggest fears or stand up against your own negative tendencies to make a positive difference in someone else's life. Let this be your wake-up call today. It's time to start doing the hard things, the right things for others. I will give you seven things that you have to start doing today for others for your ultimate happiness. Number six is my favorite, but let's start with number one. Start being a source of sincere support. The closest thing to being cared for is to care for others. We are all in this together and we should treat each other as such. The very demons that torment each of us torment others all over the world. It is our challenges and troubles that connect us at the deepest level. If you think about the people who have had the greatest positive effect on your life, the ones who truly made a difference, you will likely realize they aren't the ones that try to give you all the answers or solve all your problems. They are the ones who sat silently with you when you needed a moment to think, who lent your shoulder when you needed to cry, and who tolerate not having all the answers, but stood beside you anyway. Be this person for those around you every chance you get, starting right now. Number two. Start giving people your undivided attention. There is greatness and beauty in making time, especially when it is inconvenient for the sake of someone nearby. You don't have to tell people that you care. Just show them. In your relationships and interactions with others, nothing you can give is more appreciated than your sincere, focused attention. Being with someone, listening without a clock, and without anticipation of results is the ultimate compliment and gift. It is indeed the most valued gesture you can make to another human being. When we pay attention to each other, it makes it easier for us as human beings to feel like we are cared for. With frequent attention and affection, our relationships flourish and we as individuals grow wiser and stronger. We help heal each other's wounds and support each other's growth. So give someone the gift of you, your time, and divided attention and kindness. That is better than any other gift. It won't break or get lost, and it will always be remembered. Number three, start respecting and supporting people who are different than you. Life's greatest privilege is to become who you truly are. You have to dare to be yourself, 100%, however anxious or old that self may prove to be. The people who support you in doing so are extraordinary. Appreciate these people and their kindness and pay it forward when you are able to. Never bully someone into silence. Never victimize others for being different. Accept no one's close-minded definition of another person. Let people define themselves. You have the ability to show people how awesome they are, just the way they are. So act on this ability without hesitation. And don't forget to show yourself the same courtesy. Number four, start being willing to be strong. The mind is like a parachute. It doesn't work when it's closed. It's okay to disagree with the thoughts or opinions expressed by others, but that doesn't give you the right to immediately reject any sense they might make, nor does it give you a right to accuse someone of poorly expressing their beliefs just because you don't like what they are thinking and saying. Learn to recognize the beauty of different ideas and perspectives, even if it means overcoming your pride and opening your mind beyond what is comfortable. Healthy relationships and human interactions are not a power struggle. Be willing to be wrong while simultaneously exploring your truth. Number five, start giving recognition and praise for the little things. 
A brave, extraordinary soul recognizes the strength of others. Give genuine praise wherever possible. Doing so is a mighty act of service. Start noticing what you like about others and speak up. Having an appreciation for how amazing the people around you are is extremely rewarding. It is an investment in them that doesn't cost you a dime and the returns can be astounding. Not only will they feel empowered, but also what goes around comes around. And sooner or later, the people you are cheering for will start cheering for you too. Also, be sure to follow this rule. Praise in public, penalize in private. Never publicly ridicule someone when you have the option not to. If you don't understand someone, ask questions. If you don't agree with them, tell them. But don't judge them behind their back to everyone else. Stop being a friend to their face, but an enemy behind their back. Number six, start giving people the space to save face. What others say and do is often based entirely on their own self-reflection. When someone who is angry and upset speaks to you, and you nevertheless remain very present and continue to treat them with kindness and respect, you place yourself in a position of great power. You become a means for the situation to be graciously diffused and healed. A spiritual teacher once told me, and I quote, When somebody backs themselves into a corner, look the other way until they get themselves out, and then act as though it never happened, end of quote. Allowing people to save face in this way and not reminding them of what they already know is not their most intelligent behavior is an act of great kindness. This is possible when we realize that people behave in such ways because they are in a place of great suffering. People react to their own thoughts and feelings and their behavior often has nothing directly to do with you. Read the book Buddha's Brain. Number seven, which is my favorite, start being a bit more gentle. Be gentle and compassionate with those around you. Mother Nature opens millions of flowers every day without forcing the parts. Let this be a reminder not to be forceful with those around you, but to simply give them enough light and love and an opportunity to grow naturally. Ultimately, how far you go in life depends on your willingness to be helpful to the young respectful to the aged, tender with the heart, supportive of the striving, and tolerant of those who are weaker or stronger than the majority. Because we wear many hearts throughout the course of our lives, and at some point in your life, you realize you've been all these people. Now it's your turn. The bottom line is that it is time to be less impressed by your own money, titles, degrees, and looks, and it is time to be more impressed by your own generosity integrity, humility, and kindness toward others. Don't you agree with me? Please leave us a comment below and share your thoughts. What part of this post and video resonated with you most? I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts.